Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you very much, Julian, for your lovely introduction. And today I've chosen to speak about my life of, uh, after Miss World. And because I've, I feel that I've spoken so much <laughs> about my time as Miss World, and all, it was the year that changed my life. And I just want to share with you, with all of you today, on how I've adjusted and how my experiences have brought me to where I am today. So after my reign, it's been seven years already, and it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I've, I went to the UK to live, then I came back, became deputy mayor, got married, became a mother, and now currently the mayor of Gibraltar. So just to take you back to, to the beginning, um, I want to maybe do a very simple exercise. If I have some volunteers, and maybe someone can take off one of their shoes, or one shoe. <laughs> you must be thinking, what is she talking about? Just to get your attention, someone can take off their shoes. Uh, how do you feel? Without my shoes? Yes. Shorter. <laughs> Strange. Out of the norm. Yeah. Today as well, yeah. <laughs> Confused. Okay, thank you very much. Basically, this is how I felt. After this whirlwind of such an eventful year and just taking it to another level in my life and experiencing so many things, uh, it all stopped and I was lost. And I'm a very confident person, very strong character, and I know exactly what I want. And I didn't know who I was anymore, what I wanted. And it was very confusing for me. And this is when I got the opportunity by the then former Chief Minister, Sir Peter Caruana, and he said, Kayan, do you want to work for the Gibraltar House in London? Think about it. And I said, no, I, I don't have to think about it. I need this. I really need to think about what I want. And I took the opportunity and worked for over a year, just about. In, in London for the Gibraltar House, which I loved because although I was away from Gibraltar, but it still felt that I was very close to, to Gibraltar, was seeing Gibraltarians every day, which was lovely, and also had a massive um, opportunities and I was exploring. I, had a I still have a lot of uh, friends there and connections, which is great, but life is about choices. And it comes a time when you have to decide what you want. And it can be the better choice or not. But I believe that whatever choices I have made has been because I feel happy about it and right at the time. And I don't have any regrets of anything because I always do what I really want to do. So there came a time when I was in, the, in London when I said, it's time for me to go back. I'm ready now to go back and to start a new chapter and not closing any doors. I just wanted to come back home. And that's what I did. Came back, settled down in Gibraltar, and then another great opportunity came out with the present Chief Minister, um, the Honorable Fabian Picardo, and he said, what do you think about taking on the role of Deputy Mayor? And I was <laughs> completely shocked, <laughs> to be honest. This wasn't something that I ever thought about, to be honest. And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm young for this role. I feel very young. No, I always associated with a more mature type of role. But um, he said, no, I think this is what we need. You can bring another, something else to the role. So another great challenge. And I thought, yes. And what initially, I want to be very honest, why I took this up was because I've always felt, after my time as Miss World, that I need to give back to the community. Because I always felt a tremendous support and so much kindness, and I never knew how I could thank everyone. And I thought, this is the perfect way that I can give back to my, com my community, invest my time, and a way of giving thank you. And that was what really convinced me. After some time, I became married. I'm a very traditional person, and I feel that family is very important. And obviously, it was something that was one of my ambitions, and obviously becoming a mother, which 
I can talk about it all day, because it's... <laughs> <laughs> that is truly a life-changing event. Uh, it brings love to another level and it makes what life is about. And I think in Gibraltar, we are about family and obviously something very important to me. Uh, and just want to tell you something that I've realized whilst I was brief making my talk, this talk, and thinking about it, and I said, okay, I've just realized that I've always had something that has shaped all of my experiences, and I've just about realized what it was it's been one thing, one place, one rock, and it's Gibraltar. When I thought about it, the, every, all my choices have been about Gibraltar. I went to represent Miss World as Miss Gibraltar. I was an ambassador for the whole world, always very proud of where I was and convincing everyone that it's a very small place, but it's not big enough for our hearts. And everyone knows that now. <laughs> I made very sure that I that I did come across in that way, and I was very proud. And um, coming back to Gibraltar, settling down here, I thought I was moving away and um, going to the Gibraltar house in London. I was moving away from, just to clear my thoughts, but I never left Gibraltar because I was linked to Gibraltar, even when I thought I wasn't. Coming back, now as deputy mayor, and now currently the mayor of Gibraltar, I just realized my passion has always been Gibraltar. What can I say? I'm 100% Janita. <laughs> um, and now, being the mayor of Gibraltar, and starting it off with a donation from Beauty with a Purpose, which is a Miss World charity, it was amazing to now use my platform and combining these two huge roles and beginning it like this has been so special for me because it's combining two life-changing events for me together into a charitable donation and using my platform to be able to donate to St. Bernard's Hospital and St. Martin's School. I'm very proud of it. And it's just funny how, how fate brings you to where you are. Being the mayor of Gibraltar is much more than giving back to the community. It's about challenging myself, it's a learning curve because I keep learning, and it's using my experiences to share it with the community and to inspire the younger generation. And I think that to be able to, to have this platform for this is a blessing for me. And what can I say? I think I, I couldn't have made a better choice. Uh, I can say that I've succeeded in finding my happiness. So I'm very proud of that. I really wanted to tell you all that my message today is that no matter what life throws at you, you have to face it. And once you believe in yourself, you will succeed. I, would, I thought I was going to talk for much longer. <laughs> 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 to be honest. Um, Maybe I forgot about something. <laughs> but yes, I just really wanted to say that uh, I wasn't prepared for a big role in my life. And when I really got into it and I believed in myself that I could do it, I prepared myself for it. And I was really happy with, with my outcome. And to, ha to be in the position that I am today, I just couldn't ask for anything else. Uh, I'm very proud and I'm obviously honored to, to be rep representing Gibraltar at this level at the, at, the, at the moment. So thank you very much. <laughs>